Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you a trick that I use to trick these new style smart battery chargers into charging a dead battery. So let me show you how it works. Alright guys, not very long ago, car battery chargers used to be a very simple piece of equipment. All they basically consisted of was a transformer to step the voltage down from 120 to around 13 or 14 volts to charge the battery, a bridge rectifier to convert the AC to DC, and a capacitor to remove any ripples and smooth everything out in that DC. Then somebody got the bright idea to make these smart chargers and they were the dumbest thing ever made. And a lot of the times what you run into with a smart charger is once a battery gets below a certain threshold voltage, this charger will not detect it anymore. Now unfortunately, 90% of the chargers coming out today are these smart charger style chargers. So what I'm going to show you is a trick that I picked up. It works all the time works on boats, cars, lawnmowers, whatever you want to throw it. As long as it's got a 12 volt battery, this trick is going to work. Let me show you guys how it's done. All right, guys, the trick to making one of these smart chargers work is it has to detect a high enough voltage that it makes it can charge the battery. Now, unfortunately, right now, with the battery in this old Suburban set at like 11.4 volts, it's not high enough that the charger will detect it as a chargeable battery and therefore, when any time I go to try to charge this, it just kicks out and tells me error. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it think that it has a good 12 volt system that it can throw some current into. In order to do this, we're going to take a regular pair of jumper cables. We're going to connect these things to our good battery. In this case, I pulled the battery out of my John boat. And now we're going to hook the jumper cables over to the battery in this Suburban. Alright, let's hook our positive to our positive, our negative to our negative. Now that everything's hooked up, we'll take our leads from our battery charger and we're going to hook them up to the Jumbo battery. That's going to allow the charger to see a 12.5 volt source, which is a fully charged battery. We'll hit our charge button. And you can see it's drawing about 35 amps, give or take, floating around. And it's throwing that charging voltage into this battery so it's detecting the correct voltage which is going up feeding our battery here and guys remember we were at 11.4 when we did our first check without anything hooked up let's see what we're at now 14.14 volts that's a good charging voltage And the good thing is these new chargers will read when it's fully charged. This particular model will say FLO across it because it's reached its floating point. When it reaches that point, we'll have a fully charged battery in our Suburban. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Our battery is now charging the correct way. We'll give it a little bit. It'll be charged up and be good to go. And uh, we'll just have to remember not to leave the dome light on in Suburban. So, uh, guys, this trick is not limited to only car batteries. It'll work with the deep cycle batteries in your boat. It'll also work in your lawnmower. If you forget to charge your lawnmower over the winter, you go to get it out in the spring, the battery's dead. Piggyback in a good battery. Throw your smart charger on it. You can get it charged back up and get it running. Guys, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment. Give us that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, check it out for the first time. Guys, I try to post a video like this every week covering a simple fishing or boating related tip or trick. I call that short tip Saturday. 
we keep them about five minutes long and uh, try to help everybody out. So guys, that's all I've got for this week. I wanted to tell you all Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a great holiday. Look forward to see you all next year for 2022. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Thank you.